Hi, I'm Denny Amundsen, Director of the State Department of Developmental Services. You know, it wasn't too long ago when many people believed that persons with developmental disabilities were not capable of making their own decisions about how to live their lives, and that all important lifestyle decisions must be made for them by their case managers or their care providers or family members. The video you're about to see disproves all of these old notions. It shows that persons with developmental disabilities are not only capable of making their own decisions, but are becoming experts in self-advocacy and leadership. They're not only making decisions about where they live, where they learn, where they work, where they play, but they're also taking major leadership roles in the public policy and legislative arenas. Let's take a look at some of these leaders in action. People with developmental disabilities are emerging as leaders to create changes on behalf of consumers throughout the state and the nation. There are many opportunities and organizations that provide consumers with the chance to become more involved by speaking out. And who better to speak out for themselves than them? One of these individuals is Michael Long, Consumer Liaison for the Department of Developmental Services, the first position of its kind. Michael travels, speaks at conferences, and acts on behalf of consumers throughout the state. If we want to have a full inclusion uh, society with developmental disabilities, I think one of the first important things is uh, people with developmental disabilities have a responsibility to go out and educate the public. Part of Michael's job is being an active member of CAC, the Consumer Advocacy Council. The CAC advises the staff and director of the department on issues involving policies, programs, legislation, and regulations affecting the services and supports to consumers. I wanted to say last time about the upcoming self-advocacy conference. And I want to know if you can send us the material one month in advance. Do we have a motion on the floor from somebody? Oh, okay. Aye. 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 Another effective organization dedicated to serving people with developmental disabilities is People First. People First is run by consumers for consumers. The goal of People First is to help individuals reach their potential in their living, working, and playing lives. Capital People First meets bi-monthly at the state capitol in Sacramento. Tom Hopkins has been actively involved in People First for many years. It's really helpful to find a People's First group. I was lucky when I got into independent living, and my independent living counselor got me involved with People's First, and I found out, you know what, I'm not the only one with the same problem. I'm not the only one who's got the fears. I'm not the only one who says, look, man, I'm scared of making that first step. What the heck do I do? But People's First, you know, that was the whole point of People's First was, you know, how to face those big changes in your life. If you have a problem or if you want to change any part of your program, as long as it's in the IPP, as long as it's already written down in the IPP, that's when it can be changed. But you have to get together with your counselor and decide what you yourself want to do. The law says that people have the right to make the choices about where to live, where to work, who to live with, who to have for friends, what to do for fun, what to do in the years ahead. Those are all your rights, and you have the right to choose what you want. Leadership training is available from many different groups. Partners in Policymaking provides a formal training program for consumers and their families to work to change policies on behalf of people with developmental disabilities. The rewards are many for people who make the choice to work to make a difference. Number one, the basic benefit of everything, of all, all advocacy, all policymaking input, is the fact that you are exercising your constitutional right to input to your government 
It's your government. It's not the government. You are the government. And therefore, if you exercise your input to the government, you'll get a big head. And you'll love it. It'll be very soul satisfying. Another way for individuals to utilize leadership skills is by joining a board of directors like an area board or regional center board. Many decisions that affect people are driven by these dedicated boards. There are new laws that require that individuals with disabilities must be on many of these boards. This is a reflection of the kinds of changes now being implemented in the system. I am acting chairperson for area board for Wanda Williams, uh, Napa County Area Board. Frankie Schmidley, I'm first consumer on North Bay Region Center Board. We have, for years, advocated for people who we are serving to be leaders on our boards of directors. And finally, that's coming to fruition. So on our board, we have some very strong people with excellent backgrounds. Uh, we have a person who used to live in a developmental center who now lives in the community. And I think that's a, an incredibly important perspective. That's what's so exciting about having the people that we're serving in those roles and telling us how to make the system better. They've been there, and they're there now. So having them as members of the board is, is critical. The public needs educating from people with disabilities about their abilities. They don't know what it's all about unless we talk and show them what we can really do. The impact of an individual testifying in the legislature is very powerful. This is where your voice can be heard and laws and policy can begin to change. There's a big need here in helping people with disabilities and have to live out in the community. They are people who are disabled and can make it. You never know what it's like. You've you never been there. I know these people need a chance in the community. They could do a lot of things if you give them a chance. Connie Martinez is on her way to visit Senator Dan McCorkadale, a longtime leader and expert in the field of developmental disabilities. Senator McCorkadale recently authored a major bill updating the Lanterman Act and setting the vision and nature of the rights for people with developmental disabilities. And you've uh, done a good job at representing yourself. I think it's good, you know, we each have to teach, you know, sort of we are each teacher. Sure. I mean, teacher will open the person and say, oh, we need to help Connie to speak or, or you know, and to realize I have a thought and I have mm -hmm. a brain and, and we are a work team together. Yeah, well, think, it's all necessary. I mean, yeah. you need, some people need uh, some help and others need others and we ought to make it possible for people to have whatever help they need. Yeah. And now to realize I have something to give. Right. And that's something right. really precious thing. It's like you say, you plant a seed and go on and then that grows and you talk to people that changes people's attitudes and then pretty soon they see somebody else changes their attitude there. So it all is a, is a process. And perhaps you and I, and I mean I have respect for you because you see me not little <laughs> but you see me go person. Being active and using leadership skills does make a difference in the lives of everyone. There is no sound that goes unheard. The spirit of leadership is strong and moving forward into the future on behalf of all people with developmental disabilities.